So these are our monosaccharides, and it's very important. The plant loves them. The bacteria and the fungi in the soil use them very readily. And I like a wide diversity of different ingredients. And the reason being is molasses has over 13 different components in it that are good for the plant and the rhizosphere. Maple syrup is the highest here in malic acid, which is great for pH buffering of the soil. The, this is very close to jaggery, which is high in boron. It's actually got some of the molasses in there too, so it should react very well. The corn syrup, agave syrup, and the pomegranate syrup are all very high in B vitamins. And the date syrup is high in citric acid, which is also very good for pH buffering. So the plants and the rhizosphere will all love this recipe. So these are our disaccharides, and this is a very important ingredient. And the reason that I like this along with the molasses is because molasses doesn't have enough disaccharides in it. And the plant really, really takes well to the disaccharides. So this is the organic jaggery. This comes from the coconut tree or a palm uh, sugar and very natural, retains all the vitamins and minerals. This is a pinocillo and these are from Colombia. This is made from cane sugar, naturally dehydrated. All of these are unrefined. The number one thing you wanna make sure you use unrefined sugars. And this is the panela. This is one of my favorite. This is really, really a kind brown sugar. And again, unrefined and better vitamins than your standard brown sugar as well. So first we're always gonna add our distilled water and then we'll add our dry sugar or our disaccharides second. So in one gallon container, we're gonna add a thousand milliliters of distilled water and always use distilled water. So now we're gonna add a pound and a half of sugar to our thousand milliliters of water. And this is very important because you don't wanna go with too much sugar or too little water or you might get crystallization. And this can be any unrefined sugar. The stunt man. <laughs> I'm the stunt man. Okay. okay. Thank you. You want to break the Pinot Co up small enough to get through your funnel. Now we're going to add a half gallon of any of our monosaccharides that you want. I've actually done this before with just molasses and Pinot Chio, and it works really, really well. But I, like I said, I like the diverse amount of ingredients. So what we're going to do is pretty much just fill up the jar till about an inch or two from the top of all of these. So to get the last of the molasses out of here, we're just going to add a little water and then we'll shake it and let it sit for a little while. Just like that. Corn syrup gets a bad rap, but I think it works really well and the, the plant really likes it. So I always add it in here. So these are the best bottles for storage. And I would say you could probably store it for a couple years here. Uh, these you'll be fine with a year. If you do start seeing mold or something growing here, then just put in your outdoor garden. I wouldn't use it for indoors at that point. Um, but clear plastic is not ideal. You would want to keep this in the darker in a cooler temperature where the opaque plastic would be more likely to inhibit any fungal or mold growths. So you can use this alone, 60 milliliters for four gallons of water in a five gallon bucket or 15 milliliters for one gallon. And you can use it alone. It's a great carb supplement.